Hi, I'm Titlini Hahn and I've just grown antlers. To be honest, I'm surprised I haven't used that joke before. Never mind, last night we had quite a frost here. But I wasn't worried, and I'll show you why. Introducing the new Tiddly Tomato Tector. Actually, this stuff is the insulation that you use on hot water tanks. It was much cheaper than buying bubble wrap, only £3. And I've constructed a very simple frame, not particularly sturdy, but it doesn't need to be, to put these packets on. Look, you can even see these legs coming to bits. But my tomatoes have happily spent the night in there and are looking good. Well, at least two of them are anyway. I swapped the one on the right because it was looking a bit sad. And the one on the left is still one of the original Moneymaker tomatoes that I planted. I think it survived the frost. The unique unpatented design of the Tiddly Tomato Tector means that it dismantles in seconds for easy storage. In other news, my leeks are doing just fine after their traumas of last week. The first of the French beans is making a bid for freedom. Some of the chilli seeds have decided to come out of hibernation. And in a surprise move, some of the broccoli plants are making an early appearance after only a week in the soil. Now, keen observers to Titley's busy garden might actually notice this. I've put up some greenhouse shading and the purpose of this really is to let the light in but to stop any leaves of tender plants getting scorched by the sunlight. This stuff isn't cheap either for what it is. I mean, it's just bits of plastic tied together with thread. But if it does the job and it stops my plants getting all hot and bothered, it's worth the money. Full. You've heard me talk about the weeds in my lawn at least once before, but last year I went and bought one of these funky things. You're talking to me? And they work reasonably well. Out it comes. What they don't tell you is they leave a blessed great hole in your lawn that you have to fill in with dirt. So yeah, it's great at pulling the weeds out whole, but which is why this year I'm going to use some weed and feed stuff. Now this is the generic version, as far as I can tell, it's got exactly the same ingredients as the branded version, but it's half the price. And yesterday I spread it on the lawn. whether this stuff is any good at dealing with dandelions. Another thing I'm going to try this year is that whenever I see dandelion flowers I'm going to pick them to stop them getting to the seed stage and hope that helps too. The apple blossom is really coming on now and I'm hoping to have a good show of apples this year. I've had an amazing show of tulips some really pretty ones too. My bird cherry is just packed full of blossoms, giving quite a display. A bit different from earlier in the year, don't you think? I've also got these lovely little flowers popped up. I've no idea what they are, but they're really pretty. Sadly, flowers don't last forever, so I'm doing some deadheading around the garden, starting with the daffodils. Yay! Witness the beginnings of my blackcurrant crop this year. Oh, oh, oh. Actually, do you remember the Hair Bear Bunch? That was a classic cartoon right up there with Scooby-Doo, Speed Buggy and Hong Kong Fooey. Back in the days when cartoons were innocent and cars could talk and dogs could do Kung Fu. <sighs> Is it any wonder I turned out like this? 
We've had some new regular visitors in the garden the past couple of weeks. It's a pair of these things. Usually around midday they come and sit and put great strain on the seed tray or they're pecking around at the bottom picking up scraps. They are a pair and they seem to love it in this garden. However, Summer Fruit City is in grave danger of becoming cat <laughs> alley. Ha ha! Found you! I'm clearly going to have to take some drastic counter-terrorism measures on these. And if you're wondering why I'm standing at an angle, it's simply to appeal to some of my Desi viewers. There is some good news though. The poo I dug into the veg patch the other week certainly has reduced the amount of cat activity here. Well that's all I've got time for this week. Thanks for watching and do join me next time in Titley's Busy Garden. Mm -hmm.